Hi, in this video we're going to talk about user account control in Windows and what UAC, as it's normally called, does is it prevents programs and other things from making system changes on your computer which could cause damage, you know, like if you downloaded something off the internet and you accidentally clicked it and it was spyware related and then it would run and cause all kinds of problems. So this way it kind of prompts you to either be an administrator or have administrator credentials to run that file. So it's going to work differently depending on what kind of user account you are. So on this Windows 7 VM we have a couple users. Um, let's go over to our standard user and we're going to run this executable. So we click it and we get the usual prompt, do you want to run this file? So we say yes. And now the user account control pops up and it says, you know, what do you want to do? And it says what it's trying to install and where it's from. And in order to do it, you have to be an administrator. So we could either, these are two administrator accounts on this computer. So if we know the credentials, we could do this and we could just, you know, let's, let's click administrator. I don't think there's a password on this one. Say yes. And then we could run it. It's kind of the same as when you go right click it and run as administrator. It's going to give you the same prompt. And so that's how it would work for a standard non-administrator user account. So now let's go back over to a local administrator. Password on this account. And we run that same file. So this user is a local user, local administrator on this computer. So we run it, get the same run dialog box here, click on run. And then it says user account control. It's still prompting us, do you want to run this program? but you'll notice it's not asking us for a password because it's a local admin so all we have to do is say yes to agree to it and then we're going to continue on with the installation. So there's a few different types of UAC and so to get to those you could go into control panel and you could go into your users and then there should be something for user account control, change user account control settings or you might be able to just go UAC and get to it from that way too and then you're going to get prompted to run this as well because it's going to make system changes so it's got to make sure that administrator allows it. So on this there's four different levels so always notify so every time you do something it's going to notify that user uh, to make sure they have the right permissions to do so and the default setting is notify me only when programs try to make changes to my computer and that usually works best for most people and it allows you to not be notified when you make changes to Windows settings. And then a little less restrictive, it notified me only when programs try to make changes to my computer do not dim my desktop. So it's kind of the same as the previous settings, except it doesn't give you that, you know, kind of dimmed out desktop when that prompt happens. Um, but the part about that is you, there could still be stuff running in the background if you don't get that prompt because it kind of pauses the system. So if you have a choice between the two, I would leave it on this one. And the last one is never notify. So no matter what you do, it's not going to bother you. And you would only use this if you have some programs that will not work or will not install with UAC running. So it's kind of like a temporary thing, but I wouldn't recommend doing this unless you really have to. So all you do is you pick your setting and you click OK. And we get prompt because we're making a setting here. Say yes, and most of the time, you'll have to reboot for these changes to take effect so it's going to depend on what version of Windows you use. So this will work the same. It started in Windows Vista. It'll go all the way up to Windows 10 so it kind of looks the same. So we have Windows 10 computer here. So if we go UAC and go here and pretty much the same looking box there so it hasn't really changed much. So that's user account control and how to change your settings if needed. Thanks for watching.